What's going on, y'all? I've got some really nice and simple buffs and changes for Moltres. Uh, before I get into them, though, I do want to have a quick disclaimer. If you are a new viewer here, as you can see, there's quite a few little new moves and new abilities on screen. And most importantly, there are 600 plus uh, move buffs and changes I've made in this hack. So if you go to the, if you go right down below to the description, um, you can bookmark this Google Sheet on desktop. And also, it's optimized for desktop anyway. So if you are a mobile viewer, make sure you check that out. You know, if you do have a computer. Um, but the most important thing here on this Google Sheet is the move change sheet because I have buffed and changed over 600 moves in this hack. It's not your average one of the mill ROM hack. It's got some super in-depth, you know, move reworks of all different kinds. There are 130 plus new moves as well as, you know, just several hundred move buffs and changes. So they're all listed out. Very, very easy for you to consume. As you can see on screen, it's listed into all these different categories and it's all linked with one another. There's also like, you know, new abilities oftentimes will link to, you know, move buffs and changes. So it does take me a lot of time and effort to organize all these for your viewing convenience. So please don't let that go to waste. And also, you know, don't do yourself the disservice of not looking at all these because it's really important to just get a grasp on how the Pokemon are all functioning now. Uh, with that being said though, Moltres, very, very simple buffs and changes. All three of the legendary birds do share the ability Garden Gale, which is essentially Delta Stream. There are quite a few new Pokemon that get access to this ability. Another thing about abilities in this hack, if you are new here, is that every single Pokemon is balanced to have two useful abilities to switch between with that infinite usability capsule. So what that means is you use um, you use that ability capsule to optimize your ability for that specific trainer fight. Uh, this isn't competitive 6v6 singles. You don't have to worry about entry hazards or stealth rocks. You don't have to, you know, pick the most optimal four moves and keep them for the entire game. You're supposed to be dynamic with how you use your Pokemon. Every single Pokemon can do so many different things, and that's part of the fun and part of the, you know, strategy for the hack. It'll help you get around a lot of difficult fights if you are smart about, you know, teaching specific TMs, using specific abilities, and using those instant EV training items to switch around, switch around your EVs. Uh, but yeah, Moltres with Garden Gale is uh, significantly uh, better defensively, although honestly Fire Flying is actually a very good defensive typing, especially in a ROM hack like this, because you have a four times bug resist. So not only does that mean you still two times resist tinted lens bug types, which are all over the place, it also means that you resist for, for first impression four times with your good natural bulk. Um, you also have a four times resist to grass and you resist fighting, steel, fairy, and fire. It's a really good tool type defensively. Now you also might notice that Moltres has solar power, which is an incredible offensive option for Moltres. And you might be thinking, huh, dudes, I thought that you try to keep overlap, you know, to a minimum when it's a Pokemon of the same type combination. Doesn't Charizard have solar power? And you'd be wrong. It no longer has solar power because it has two even better offensive abilities, or at least more fun to use and also arguably better offensive abilities uh, in Ruthless, which functions with moves like Aero Blast and Heat Wave, which will always crit, and then uh, also physical moves and all types of really fun stuff there. <clears throat> Holy crap, excuse me. And then uh, Moxie, which turns into really good abilities uh, like Aerolade and Levitate on the Mega, and then of course you still have like Tier Force and Drought and stuff on the other on the Megas. But you can go check out that Charizard video or look at Charizard on the Google Sheet if you want to hear more about that. But my point is, is that Moltres is unique in being a fire flying type of solar power. Uh, the cast form forms are all part flying. So uh, Moltres, sorry, uh, cast form sunny form does have solar rush. So they all have swift swim, solar rush and slush rush, um, which is pretty great. So that's a little bit of like, I wouldn't say overlap, but there are two fire flying sun Pokemon. Uh, but that's not a big deal. I mean, one of them's incredibly fast and the other one's in a, you know, absolute nuke uh, with incredibly high base power moves and all the all types of fun things that they can abuse. Uh, but yeah, Moltres is great defensively and offensively. Um, very valuable resistances. Uh, with Garden Gale, it is also only weak to rock two times and water two times and that's it. Uh, and then it still has that ground immunity and then it's neutral to electric with Garden Gale. So that's a great ability for it for certain situations. You're using Garden Gale, you know, majority of the time. Garden Gale also has the benefit of overriding the opponent's weather. So say, for example, they have, you know, sweltering sun or stormy seas or um, anything, you know, any regular weather will all get overrode overwritten uh, by Garden Gale when you switch in. Keep in mind that Garden Gale will, of course, go away when you switch out, though. Uh, but yeah, Solar Power with debuffed Heat Rock is pretty cool, but you don't even need a Drought Pokemon to abuse Solar Power. Uh, you can just use Sunny Day, uh, Heat Rock plus Parting Shot slash Volt Switch slash U-Turn uh, into your Moltres, and now you have, you know, nine full turns of uh, Sun to abuse, and tons of Pokemon obviously get Sunny Day, so that's a really viable strategy for a lot of boss fights. You can use that in conjunction with Roost, you can use it in conjunction with priority moves like Gust and Ignite. Um, and defensively, you also have stuff like Feather Dance, or not Feather Dance, excuse me, uh, Parting Shot, Mystical Fire, Mystical Fire dropping attack and special attack by minus one. Uh, 
Uh, burn up is a really, really cool option because burn up will turn you into a pure flying type. Burn up will also always burn the opponent. It's a 140 base power move. It always burns. So that's a great utility option and it's really fucking strong. And it becomes, you know, you turn into a pure flying. So hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, with Garden Gale, that means that yes, you have no weaknesses, which, like I said in the Zapdos video, is a very overrated trait in my opinion. Um, you also lose the resistances that come with being a fire type, which can be actually kind of a shame for certain boss fights because fire flying, like I said at the beginning, is a great defensive typing in this hack, especially when you don't have to worry about uh, entry hazards. Uh, in fact, you're actually immune to the more common ones like sticky webs and T-spikes, which will show up more on boss fights than uh, you know the others, which are pretty much not a factor at all. So um, yeah, super, super sick overall. I mean, really simple buffs and changes. It's got high base power moves like Overheat, which is Special Flare Blitz, Blast Burn, which is Fire Type Draco Meteor, Fire Vortex, which is essentially like a stronger, more accurate Magma Storm, and all types of other crazy stuff that he can abuse. Uh, in the sun, of course, you've got Solar Beam, which will also always crit. So that's a 90 base power move that always crits. So you can use Solar Beam in conjunction with Blast Burn. Uh, Blast Burn will drop your special attack, and then you can click Solar Beam and ignore your special attack drop. So that's super sick. You can also do the same with Aero Blast, which will also always crit and ignore your special attack drop from Blast Burn, so that's a fun little combination you could take advantage of. You also still have a usable attack stat. It's not like the best thing on the planet, and it doesn't work well with Solar Power, but for certain specific niche boss fights, especially if you're doing a Team Lock Nuzlocke, you can tech on First Impression or something to your Moltres to knock out something that's faster than you that is weakened or weak to, uh, weak to bug or whatever it is. So, yeah, that's really about it for Moltres overall. It's got good coverage moves as well. Dazzling Gleam, Scorching Sands, Focus Blast. You know, it's got everything, you know, Dark Pulse. It's got solid coverage. It doesn't really need too much coverage anyways, but it's got everything I would really ever want. Um, yeah, it's got Setup, Calm Mind, Nasty Plot, stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty car par for the course in a hack like this. Like I said, you do four times with this first impression, so you can actually try to get some sweeps going. However, you have to keep in mind that you are still susceptible to the uh, universal anti-setup stuff like Priority Roar, Priority Whirlwind. Um, which are only 3pp, of course, but they're still really good for the AI to counter your setup moves with, uh, you know, heart swap, topsy-turvy, all types of stuff like that. So, yeah, overall, though, very, very, very solid buffs and changes overall for Moltres and all three of the birds. Thank you so much for listening, and I appreciate it. If you would, you know, if you are a new viewer and you have yet to subscribe, make sure you do that. Uh, lastly, I will say that Reteachable Roost is also a great option, as well as Morning Sun and the Sun uh, with Solar Power. That's a really cool option, Morning Sun plus Solar Power, or just flat out using Roost, which is, again, Reteachable via uh, TM. So, yeah, thank you so much, and peace.